Drop it. Second wicket in his second over. Marsangakara offering a very 
tentative cut to a delivery outside off stump. Well, this is the second time the wicketkeeper hasn't heard it and he had the ball of a company. There it is and just takes the catch. I've seen Sangakara walk. I think he also believes in the Gilchrist theory that if you're out, you walk. But this time, even the bowler didn't hear it. Made life simpler for the umpire. But Sangakara is gone and Sri Lanka in deep trouble now. 42 for four. New Zealand are normally a good outfit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, if Asad Ralph is calling for the, the stumps discussion here now, was the ball dead? Well, it might just be a question here from the umpire to Daniel Vittori. Do you want him to go? We know he's out of you. He's out of his crease. Do you want to call him? Not call him back. He hasn't gone yet. But do you want to say? And it caused all sorts of problems. Now, what happened? He just wanders out of his crease, I think. Yeah, he does. Well, technically, it's out. Now, has Daryl Harper, though, called over before that hit the stump? It was out of his ground. Out. Says the third umpire. Now, whether that is far and apart from what Daryl Harper is asking here. How deep are those scars from what happened at the Oval? I think this is what it might be about. How deep are those scars? Paul Collingwood was England's captain. He didn't call back Grant Elliott. We had a, an incident with Ryan Sybottom. They ran into each other, and there was a lot, a lot of animosity. Now, there's a lot of chat out there right now. We've seen some controversy. Strauss calling back Matthews. The umpires not allowing Graham Smith a runner. Right, so we have a resolution here, folks. And forgive us for the pause in bringing you the exact information which we shall over the course. I would assume that Daryl Harper and Daniel Vittori. Right, Daniel Vittori. Four overs. And he's taken one wicket. Big wicket that that of Brian Lara. Attacking field now for uh, Carl Hooper. There's a slip. There's a silly point and a forward. side here where there's a man who's very hard at work his name's Andrew Lepers and who's responsible for putting Anil Kumle back onto the ground and I thought we'd check with Andrew and just how bad was it uh, were you surprised that Anil Kumle actually wanted to go out and play well when you see the x-rays and you see the crack going straight through the jaw and the teeth separated yeah I was very surprised there is Kumle is actually bowling it, it gives a lot of us goose pimples, but obviously you can't as doctor, as a physio, allow yourself to be carried away like that. Well, it, it's, you know, I've got to thank the dentists, a couple of dentists here as well that have actually tried to wire up two of his teeth, so to hold the fracture together and stabilise it. It's basically a, what we call a flower segment. The jaw is just loose and flapping around out there. So the taping is basically designed to hold his jaw together. Obviously he's got some painkillers in there as well. But uh, it all comes down to his heart. It's, it's his heart, his courage, his determination that uh, actually put him back on the field. No one else, no one else's influence. He said, do whatever you do, whatever you can do to get me out there. And uh, we got Lara. Fantastic. So, and, and Tendulkar is telling him. But he's not come to shake hands with uh, umpire Srinath. Srinath is extending his arm. But you'd rather have...